Guys, what's going on? Kuko back again with another video. This time we're talking about something that's completely new for Demon Hunters. Last video I posted was mainly the same build for Unhallowed Essence with just a few buffs to some of the items that we were already using. This is completely new, combining two of the reworked Demon Hunter sets to make something that's really, really powerful right now. I'm going to give you guys a brief explanation. I don't want to get down too much into detail just because things are subject to change and maybe this isn't where Blizzard wants demon hunters to be right now because they are very powerful but we'll do a little bit of a quick dive into it so basically we're going to be combining the four piece martyr set with the four piece shadows coil set and the big advantage to this is that with the shadows coil set we're able to get a thousand percent increased damage while we're using a melee weapon and we also get shadow power gain the effect of every rune which gives us a huge survivability boost as well as a movement speed boost and shadow power lasting forever cannot be understated. It's absolutely amazing. We're also going to take that combined the martyr set, which is companions. You have all of them when you have the two set, as well as having your sentries deal 200% increased damage and cast chakra and pale multi shot and cluster arrow. Now, this build focuses on chakra. We basically use two of the new legendaries, a belt and a weapon, to take complete advantage of these two sets really working together and having really nice synergy. The first of these items is Zoe's Secret. It's a new Demon Hunter belt that gives you reduced damage for every companion that you have. It ranges between 6.5 to 7%. My roll is kind of low, but as you can see, if we've got four companions out, you're already looking at another um, for 28%. At maximum you could have for reduced damage reduction as you can see for my demon hunter right now we're rocking about 62 million toughness so this is even with best gear i'm not in full ancient i'm not fully specced out with rune augments sorry gem augments which we'll talk about in a different video um this is just pretty standard stuff and then the last bit here is the sword of ill will a melee weapon that's been made specifically for demon hunters and it makes your chakram deal 1.3% increased damage for every point of hatred that you have. Now, when I first kind of saw this started to pop up on the leaderboards, I was kind of skeptical because chakram isn't a skill that I particularly liked. I didn't really like it back in vanilla D3 when it was actually good, and I really haven't liked it throughout most of Reaper of Souls, but doing some closer inspection and actually seeing that when we go over to our Kanai's cube here, if you actually cube your Spines of Sealy Hatred, your chakra now generates hatred. And this is a huge boost because if you can combine that with your Focus and Restraint, you can now use chakra, combine that with Fan of Knives, using a rune to take the cooldown away from it, constantly have that damage boost going, multiplying on top of all the other damage boosts you already have, as well as using Hexing Pants because you're gonna be moving a lot in this build. It, it's super, super fun, and it deals a truckload of damage. And honestly, it's probably one of the most visually impressive specs that I've actually seen in Diablo so far. You have to use a Royal Ring, which is the only unfortunate thing. It would be nice to use Convention, but you can only equip three of each set in order to get the actual uh, combined four-piece bonuses for them. Uh, things that remain the same from other builds, you're going to have your Wraps of Clarity, again, uh, generating hatred. It reduces your damage. So you can see that all of this is combining to really give you a huge toughness boost. Survivability is key in this build because you can be one-shot by a lot of things, and being able to last through that really makes a difference for Greater Rift Clears. And the big buff here to Bombardier's Rucksack, it still has the two additional sentries effect, but now it rolls between... 75% and 100% sentry damage. And as you guys are going to see in the video after this, sentries are going to be firing out chakrams like nobody's business, and you're just going to absolutely melt through packs. So I've actually been able to clear Greater F72 so far. I'm still working my way up. Um, I, 72 I did also on the first try, and it was a pretty efficient clear. Uh, this build has a ton of potential, guys. I could even suggest that this could probably even get up to 80 plus depending on gear and augments and everything else that is combined in with this new patch. But I thought I'd give you guys just a little bit of a teaser to see kind of what to look forward to with this build in the new patch. So hope you guys enjoy seeing this Greater F72 clear. If you like, make sure that you hit the like button because that would make sense. And comment and subscribe uh, just for more information coming from me about Demon Hunters for the next season. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoy.